What's up guys, it's Endymion, and today I want to explore another mysterious side of the world of Elden Ring. Today I want to speak about the Fire Giants, their rebellion, and the Fire Monks that served them, as well as the mysterious Dark God known as the Fell God. Before I start, this video will contain some spoilers, and since the nature of this subject is not 100% in stone, there may be parts of this video that are left to interpretation since we simply don't know everything. But as always, if I get anything wrong or you have anything to add, let me know in the comments. And now let's begin talking about the Fire Giants and their opposition to the Greater Will and its Eternal Queen, Merica. When the Greater Will arrived and began exerting its influence upon the lands between, the Outer God chose Queen Merica to be its leading influence on the world by establishing the Erd Tree, the power of the Elden Ring, and the religion known as the Golden Order. But there were beings that lived in the lands between prior to the Greater Will's arrival known as the Fire Giants. These creatures were massive in scope, capable of destroying anything that opposed them and they worshipped a supposed god of their own called the Foul God or the Fell God. According to the Flame of the Fell God spell's description, it states, this legendary incantation is one of several that draws directly from the power of the Fire Giants releases a ball of raging fire said to be inhabited by a fell god. Arganthi, the chief guardian of the flame, had kept this incantation a well-kept secret until it was stolen by a dawn. The fell god still lurks within the fire giants. There's a few things to unpack here. Arganthi was actually a powerful fire monk that you can face within the mountaintops of the giants. Adon, on the other hand, is available to fight by way of an Everjail, and once defeated, you actually gain the Flame of the Fell God spell for your own personal use. But the peculiar part here is that it states the Fell God still exists within the Fire Giants themselves. According to the Giant Seal, which boosts Fire Giant incantations, it states, Sacred Seal depicting the one-eyed god of the Fire Giants adorned with braids of red hair. Next, we need to speak about the lead-up to the Fire Giant boss fight. Prior to the events of the game, Merica saw the Fire Giants as direct opposition to her rule over the lands between. And so, she ordered the first Elden Lord Godfrey to amass an army in her name to march on the Fire Giants and end their kind for good. This is why when you arrive in the mountaintop of the Giants, the area is covered in the ash-covered corpses of dead Giants. Their eyes seem hollowed out, their bodies are almost stone-like in composition. And here you can see what I assume to be the corpse of one of the larger fire giants that Godfrey slayed on his conquest. Eventually, one fire giant was left alive, as the flame of their cauldron could not be extinguished so Merica forced this last fire giant the task of caring for the flame for the rest of eternity. But when Melina persuades the Chosen Tarnished into burning down the Erd Tree in order to become Elden Lord, this leads to the fight against the supposed final fire giant of its kind. Remember back with the giant seal description saying that the Fell God was a one-eyed god and that its power lives within every fire giant. Well, this ends up being absolutely true, as when the Tarnished crushes the fire giant's leg, it tears it off in desperation and offers its own flesh to its dormant dark god. And then we see the fire giant's chest seemingly come to life to show a single eye. This fell god's appearance goes beyond the fire giants as well, with the order of the fire monks adorning armor that mimics that of the fire giants. The fire monk armor states, Black iron armor adorned with the red cloth, attire of the fire monks. The grotesque face sculpted on the chest is said to depict the corrupt ancient god of the flame. Taboos transform into lasting obsessions by virtue of the fear that they inspire. The Fire Monks are an order that worship the Fell God as well as the Giants and want nothing more than their Fell God to return to prominence over the Greater Will and the Golden Lineage. The Fire Monks are depicted as crazy zealots, with the higher officials in their order are known as prelates. You may remember one of them prior to crossing the giant chain, they're the big monks with the candlestick heads that spew fire in every direction. Speaking of candlestick heads, 
There's actual lore for that too. See, there was once a monk named Byrak whose essence is still kept to this day within the weapon called Cranial Vessel Candlestand. It states, Candlestand used in worship of Byrak, the most hollowed monk prelate of the giant's flame. Concerned over the lazy arrogance with which the monks treated the flame, Byrak severed his own head as a lesson to the others, intending it be used as a candlestand. His fate yet smolders from within the cranial vessel. Now that's what I call employee of the year. If that wasn't enough, the prelates are indeed the leaders of the fire monks according to the colossal hammer called Prelates Inferno Crozier, which states, Colossal hammer with the appearance of roiling flames, weapon of the prelates who lead the fire monks. Its heft represents the weight of their guardianship. The story of the fell god and its fallen fire giants really does strengthen the idea that the religions and kingdoms built upon the lands between rise and fall constantly over the ages as lords rise and ages fall. Now why does that sound familiar? Oh yeah, Dark Souls, but I'll explore that in a future video. Ultimately, the fate of the Fire Giants seems sealed as the Fell God's influence has waned over the eons and the last of the pure Fire Giants has fallen to the hands of the Chosen Tarnished. What remains of the Giants and their kin, like the lesser trolls, are but shadows of what they were. What's interesting is, if you look at a troll's stomach, it seems hollowed out, like it's missing something. And when I look at the fire giant with the fell god eye, it makes me wonder if Merica and Godfrey took the remaining giants and the lesser trolls and tore the fell god's physical appearance quite literally out of them as punishment and then enslaved them to pull the supply convoys of the Golden Order as well as fight for their cause. Of course, this isn't 100%, but let me know what you think of that in the comments below. But that's the grim reality of the losing side in wars. They are almost always enslaved, maimed, or wiped out of existence by the stronger opposing force. And the fire giants and their kin stand tall as brutal reminders to the malice and feverish conquest of the Eternal Queen Merica. In conclusion, I want to look at one final item which reveals the fate of this mysterious fell god in the item called One-Eyed Shield. It states, Trixum shield made from white stone depicting a malformed one-eyed god. Once worshipped by the giants, this evil deity is believed to have been slain by Queen Merica. So it seems in the end, like the fire giants themselves, their dark god was eventually slain by the hands of Queen Merica herself. Whether this fell god still lives on, or if it's actually an outer god itself, which I cannot confirm, is still a mystery. And with that comes the end of this video and the story of the fall of the fire giants. Let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you for watching. Consider liking, subscribing and sharing the video to give my life meaning. And thank you to my patrons as always for their undying support. The link to my Patreon is in the description box below. I even updated it with a $1 Patreon tier. So if you want to support me, you can do it that way. Thank you. And I'm Endymion. Thanks for watching everyone. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.